In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to draw a rectangle in your Vectric software. So over in your design tab under create vectors, we're going to click on this icon here to draw a rectangle. When we click on that, that will open up the draw rectangle form. Now the easiest way for us to draw a rectangle is by simply drawing out a rectangle using your mouse within your job space. So for example, I can simply click using the left mouse button and then depending on the direction on which I am drawing out my rectangle depends on the kind of anchor point that we're creating that rectangle from. So you can see here we're dragging this from the top left hand corner of the rectangle. And if I move over to the left hand side and drag to the left, we're now creating a rectangle from the top right hand corner and again, if I drag upwards, you can see I'm now creating that from the lower right hand corner and then over to the right, I'm creating that from the lower left hand corner. And you simply can just simply drag a rectangle out. And when you're happy with the shape and size of that rectangle, simply let go to apply that and you've created your first rectangle. Now, if you liked the size that you've got there and you wanted to create another one at the exact same size, you can simply just click to create a new rectangle within your job like so. So let's just undo all of those there using Control Z. So now let's draw out another rectangle. So I'm just gonna draw this out and you'll notice that as I drag, you can see that we're being displayed values on the width and the height of our rectangle as I'm moving that. And that's just telling us the dimensions of our current rectangle where we have our cursor. And if I let go, I'm able to edit these values if I wanted something more precise. So for example, if I wanted to edit the width here to be five inches, I could simply type in five and press enter and it will do that for me there. Now to access those fields again, I can simply click on one of the corners or hover over the corners to see those dimensions. It's also worth noting that I'm able to see the size of this rectangle within my form as well. And so if I hover over any one of these corners, you'll see that we're displayed both the height and the width field. And if I click on one of those, it just means that I'm now able to edit either one of these. So for example, if I wanted to alter the height here, I could make that three, press enter, and it will do that there for me. Alternatively, if we wanted to, just wanted to see one of those values and alter that, we can do that by pulling on any one of these mid handles that we've got here. So for example, if I click on that, and just to show you by dragging first, you can see that as I drag it, I'm displayed the width of the rectangle as I move it. And then when I let go, we can see what it's finished as. Alternatively, I could just go in and put in a precise value and you'll see it will do that there for me. Same for the height. So if I hover over, you can see that the height is displayed on the right there. And if I click on that, I'm able to then tweak that also. So I could put four in there and it will adjust that. And obviously if I click on this one here and then alter the width, it's going to pull this side out. So let's say we make that five, press enter and it will do that there. And then if I click on this dot here, and then that's going to enable us to alter the height field here where it's going to alter the height by bringing this down or up. So for example, if we want to make that longer, we could change that to five and you can see it's done that there for us. Now, if you wanted to constrain both axes so that it scales out in proportion, then when you drag, simply hold down the Alt key at the same time and that will scale that in proportion for you there. So you can see we've got lots of control in order for us to alter the width and height of your rectangles. Another thing to also mention is if you click on a corner handle and you wanted to alter the width and height independently, a quick way of doing that is by typing in your value followed by tab to then get to the next value, which you can then enter that in like so. Okay then, so we're just going to stretch this out a little bit and now we're going to look at another 
option that we have and that is this handle here so this handle enables us access to the corner type at the moment we've got that set to a square and we can see that because we've got square corners and in the form we can see it's set to square but if I click on this handle and then I just drag it towards the center you can see that that corner type changes from square to radius to external and you can see that we're able to just visually see the effect of that as we're moving our mouse and alternatively if I go past the square corner it will then go into a radius internal corner and you can see that I'm just doing this just with the scroller of my mouse however I've got various options to control um, the actual radius here I can type a value in if I wanted to so I could change that to 0.5 and it will update there alternatively I could update that in the field within the actual form itself so let's just close out of the draw rectangle form so it's worth noting that whilst you've already created your shape and you're now in your normal transform mode, you still have access to various handles uh, that enables you to control the size and the shape of your shape that you've just created. So for example, I can still move this like so, and I can move that up and down like so. I can also access the corners as well. So I can edit this post rectangle creation. Now, if you haven't interfered with the actual shape itself, uh, then the software will still recognize that this was created using the rectangle tool. And if you go ahead and press E on the keyboard, if you just come out here, just select it, press E, that will open up the draw rectangle form in which you can then go ahead and make further edits should you want to. And that's how you draw rectangles. Thank you for watching.